Hey, so many first, this is Super Zombie God Barbecue, and today we It's the big finale. We are smashing the big show. Not literally, but we are smashing the big show. We have got four shards left, and we're going to get ourselves a summer sample in this vid as well, because we just got it off of the ring domination board. Bye bye. And I'm also going to get myself a little landmark. 100,000 games. Mm. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do with my ladder reward yet. I don't know whether I'm going to keep it, or I'm going to do, do it in another video, or whether I'm going to do it now, or whether I'm going to hold it back for the next tier. I'm not sure. I'll show you reveal it on the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. Exactly. So we are joined by Kels, Kieran, and, well, Martin Kieran. Tico. Nobody hi. says hi. Hello! Hi! If any of the cards in RD are a pro for you, let us know in the comments section. But we also need to talk about a very, 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 very special thing. Well, I've known about this for a while, okay? But I've not known how it was done. Between three or four different people, we worked out... You may have seen in previous episodes of Ring Domination where I've uploaded uh, me getting myself a pull immediately after finishing Ring Domination. There's a reason why now. We know that we think we know the reason why. Which we're now going to explain so everyone else can benefit from it as well. Uh, but most people benefit from it but don't realise how much of a benefit playing Ring Domination the entire way through is. So, I want to give plaudits first of all that this came from uh, Edward, Supercard Edward on Twitter. And if you have other people, I'll put who exactly they are uh, in, the, uh, in the comment section. We tested out on about 20 or 25 people in total. And I'm me being the 26th person. And yeah, it works. So, first of all, here's my Summer Slam poll that I got, my Summer Slam 17 poll, which I got from Ring Domination. If you like what you see, don't leave your phone on loud whilst I'm recording a video. And like this video as hard as you can with a KO punch. Not Superman punch, a KO punch. And... I'm just gonna break this screen. Yes, I know, but um, I'm not responsible for that. And subscribe to the channel whilst you're there as well, because you're awesome. So, pull time. Move the commentary. Nice. <laughs> I'm attracted. I like it when JB is bona fide Kappa. Kappa, 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 Kappa. Welcome to a new. Oh! Okay. Guess you just got to do it. Oh! Nice. Good image. Not a very good card, though. It's a good image. Is it a pro? Not sure. That's why it's been so quiet trying to figure out is this a pro? I'll deal with that. So remember when you said you were gonna get your pull later on? No, I just got it! You lied to us! I'm so sorry! <laughs> yeah, well everyone on YouTube is gonna be wondering why the hell did I pull Luke Harper and I'm gonna be Rebecca Black's Friday in the background. <laughs> Well, it is Friday. It's Friday, you know what that means. Oh, dear Good me. Transition. Exactly, see? Aha! Aha! Ah, ah. ah yes. Wonderful! It's a wonderful transition. And by the end, what he doesn't get. I don't get it. Really? On Twitter, if you go to Luke Harper's account, the only tweets he sends out are It's Monday, you know what that means. It's Tuesday, you know what that means. So Luke Harper, wow, nice little sub sample. The method works. No, it's another freaking single. Not like you need any pros. Yeah, Jack Gallagher. Jack Gallagher is the, uh, the card for RTG this week, and he's another single as well. I prefer the Survivor on him. In fairness, the Survivor image looks really good. A card, a SummerSlam card, a WrestleMania card, whatever you get, that's called a reset. Unless you get yourself a SummerSlam 17 card, if you're in SummerSlam 17. Or if you're in WrestleMania 33 tier, WrestleMania 33. Or if you're in Ultimate, Ultimate, etc, etc. If you get one of those cards, 
that resets your tally for your pull. And a pull is whatever card you have in your tier. So if you're in SummerSlam, it'd be SummerSlam, Ultimate, Ultimate, etc, etc, etc. So, the normal amount of resets to get a SummerSlam card pulled in SummerSlam Plus Plus and SummerSlam Plus, I believe, is between 250 and 300. But usually it's between 200 and 250. So it usually happens between that range. So you have to pull effectively 250 rare cards, if you want to call it that way, to get your pull. I know this is really complex, there's a cutoff point. So if you get to 250, that's your cutoff point. At some point after that, you are going to get your pull. Edward has found out and what other people have found out and what we have now discovered is that the stuff that was happening in the past was not by fluke. It was actually that they ring domination. It seems you get double resets. So every shard you pull off of a card and you unlock, smash, whatever you want to call it, counts as two resets. Which means that if you do an entire three sets of uh, ring domination cards, so WrestleMania 33, SummerSlam 17, and a SummerSlam 17 event card, if you have not pulled a card at any point between, uh, let's say, the last Road to Glory and this ring domination, you're not played at all, you will have done enough resets, potentially, to get you a pull from ranked mid, of whatever tier you're in. Of course, as long as you don't pull one in the meantime. So, if you get a summer sample halfway through, then of course you're not going to get one by the end of uh, Ring Domination. But yes, the simple fact is, every single shard in Ring Domination counts as double resets. Which now means that people have realised this and are now going through the entirety of Ring Domination. All nine cards, because basically for every three cards you complete in Ring Domination, guarantees you you're gonna get a pull. And that, I'm hoping people haven't now falling asleep. But yes, kudos to everyone who found out. I believe I'll list them all in the description in the comment section. But this is a big, big thing because people in ring domination now can do more than just the initial three cards and will probably end up getting themselves one or two summer samples during. 108 resets in a ring domination in normal game modes that counts as 216 so you're pretty much close to your pull okay i just said that i almost fell asleep i'm so <laughs> sorry i'm so sorry it's okay so nice and simple explanation at the beginning of ring domination one day before ring domination when you start ring domination if you go all three cards you will double your resets which means that you go from 108 resets to 216. That's how it works. So you then go into ranked and try to pull your card. You only have to do another 30 resets to get your pull off the board. But it's not guaranteed, but it, it, it basically- it's near enough. It's near <laughs> enough guaranteed, but not a lot of people knew that. And I don't know when this is coming from, but I've always noticed it as of ultimate tier that this happened. But now it's an actual thing where people have worked out why it happens. And it is because ring domination shards count as a double reset. But we're gonna go get the big show. I'm hoping that we can get a big show in one game, but as we've seen with Supercard in the past, you get Roman Reigns comes in and decides to spoil the party. Whoa, nothing, no hate on Roman Reigns, please. I will always hate Roman Reigns. Actually, no, I don't genuinely. I actually really like Roman really Reigns. Well. But I did get myself that Luke Harper pull, which you saw. I'll still go into ranked mode after to see if I can get a pull, because, you know, YOLO, etc. Um, so I'm actually going to finish off Big Show whilst we're here right now. we well, six picks remaining. There's his beautiful face. He is there. Lovely beard. Yes, WrestleMania toughness. He's now known as the Big Shave, but today he is the Big Show. Okay, punch. His first ever event card, welcome to the squad, Big Show. We've got so many images of this guy to check out. The big slow that if you took him in speak of three stat cut and bobby, yeah? Yes. Let's check out his common. I can't see that looking that great. And it looks okay, actually, you know. This is, this is big, big, big slow. No, the uncommon doesn't look too bad. 
telling you, season one legendary, you'll love it. Okay, I gotta go for the super rare. Dude, this this is the the bow the bad one. He's got that actually looks pretty sick. The epic from season one. S1 epic, yep. You got the uh Epic Epic looks really good. Yeah, you Oh that That looks that looks pretty decent, you know. Actually I'll agree with you, it does look pretty good. It's WCW, isn't it? WCW thing. Uh, yeah, it's when he was the giant. The giant. <laughs> oh dear. This this just looks terrible. <laughs> Which looks alright. But I am actually going to go with the fusion because I think the fact that it covers the entire thing, it makes it look big. It makes the card stand out. And that's why I like it. But there is big slow. It's done. It's big. Big. Here's the question. I need to play five games. Five games. Just like he's trying to shake your hand. Trust me, I wouldn't like to shake the hand of Big Show. He has got a monstrous hand. Do you think if I put Hollywood Hulk Hogan in my deck, that I'll get a, a really bad reward? <laughs> Try it. Let, 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 let's put him in the deck, brother. And let's see what I get. All season one cards, guys. All season one cards. Old school, baby. This is the point I get my ass absolutely handed to me with this deck. 100,000th game against Mustache. What a name. What a name.